Here now, Texas Republican Congressman and Republican presidential candidate, Ron Paul. Congressman Paul, it's always a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thank, thank you, Judge. Congressman, with unemployment the highest it's been since the Great Depression, is the president losing all credibility as he ch continues to attempt to engage in the central planning of the economy? Oh, ab absolutely. Although he doesn't get all the blame because, you know, it took a lot of years and the people in Congress in the previous presidencies, uh, they all contributed to it by endorsing a system of central economic planning through the Federal Reserve. So, yes, it's a it's a failed system. Just as Mises predicted socialism would fail in the Soviet system, there are the Austrian economists that have predicted that uh, fiat money and endless spending, it, it will fail and it is failing. And that's why just changing advisors won't matter if you don't change policy, significantly so. We have to give up on central economic planning through the manipulation of money and credit. You have spent your entire career educating America on the values of the free market and, and the detriments to all of us, present and future, uh, of central planning. What is the best argument for Ron Paul to be the Republican nominee for President of the United States against the sitting incumbent Barack Obama? Well, I would say that uh, the other candidates, uh, you know, talk in some ways is similar to what I'm saying, but I think it's credibility and I think it's the fact that I have rejected the status quo for a long time and therefore have the credibility of saying what we need to do is change things. And like you said in your introduction, I mean, uh, I'm on record for getting rid of the Fed, getting rid of central economic planning, getting rid of the uh, income tax and uh, repeal the 16th Amendment, but change the form policy as well. Uh, others are hinting, and I think this is good, and I'm very pleased with it, and we're getting better votes in the Congress today uh, also. But uh, I just think the other candidates uh, pretty much are part of the status quo, with a leaning now, in the Republican primary at least, toward less government. At least they state that. The big problem is, is over the years, we've heard that so many times, and then we finally get the Republicans in charge, and they act like Democrats. So that is what the real challenge is, and hope I uh, fill the bill where people can uh, uh, believe exactly what I'm saying, and I would do exactly as I have promised. I uh, have the same view about the IRS as do you. I have the same view about the income tax as do you, and I expect most people watching us now feel similarly. But the question that comes to mind is, how would the government run? How would it operate if there were no income taxes to pay for it? Well, you know, that's always the question. We might look at our history. I, I think there was a good many years we didn't have an income tax, uh, other than for a brief period under Lincoln. We didn't have an income tax until 1914, and uh, we did quite well. But the question isn't so much how you do it. It's how much do you want to pay for it? If you want a welfare system, if you want the entitlement system to continue, if you want corporate welfare, the military-industrial complex, and foreign adventurism and policing the world, you can't do it. Not only do you need the income tax? You need to borrow. You need to print the money. So it's an attitude about government. And I think the most important questions that we question that we have to ask is what should the role of government be? And I believe the founders asked that question. They didn't like the role of the king, and they changed it and tried to give us a document. They made an effort to try to restrain us from going back to these old habits again. And uh, that's the question we have to answer. If we had the proper role of government, believe me, if we just you know basically followed the constitution. We wouldn't even have to have an income tax. Uh, we would live within our means and we wouldn't be able to print money and we wouldn't be able to borrow like we do. Are you surprised that you are more popular on college campuses today than President Obama is? Well, I didn't know that was the case, but it would make me feel good because I know uh, what they respond to, and they respond to this message that you and I have been talking about, and I would say that should make us all feel good uh, because I know my personal limitations, but uh, I think everybody knows where I stand, and if, if there is the popularity that you say, I would say it's great that the philosophy of liberty is gaining in popularity. I have to tell you another unusual place where the popularity, where the, the popularity of liberty is gaining. You are the leading candidate for the presidency amongst bartenders and waiters and waitresses in restaurants and pubs around the country. Why is that so, Congressman Paul? 
Well, I don't know because I don't frequent the bars very often. I'll have a glass of wine at dinner time, but I don't go to the bars. But I know exactly why, and that is that I have one little bill, you know, a token effort since you, you know we can't get rid of the IRS tomorrow. But I thought, why don't we get rid of all taxes on tips? Wouldn't that be magnificent? Think of many kids and young people have worked their way through college. So we say, we as conservatives and libertarians, we don't want everybody to be getting free loans, you know, and, and grants from the government. So some of them, many of them will go out and work, and then they make small amounts, and then we hound them to death so that we make sure we collect taxes on their tips. Right. So I'll tell you what, it is very, very popular. Maybe they could take care of themselves if we would get off their backs and let them keep the money they've earned. Your, 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 your creativity knows no end, Congressman Paul. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Always a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Judge. My next guest says the best way to get the economy going and